What's going on guys? Vulcan here. Welcome back to The Forge and today we are covering some more Wilson gameplay. So what we're looking at today guys is a pretty slick build. Uh, it's a pure kind of assassin build built off the thief tree. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at what we're working with. So like I said, first step, we went to thief. The thief unlocks a passive ability, well kind of a toggle ability called infiltration. And in passive mode, increases your movement speed, decreases your defense. When you use this, you enter a invisibility kind of uh, status for a short period of time. And um, which, by the way, is not a very long period of time. It's like two, maybe three seconds. Um, and when you're invisible, you can't be targeted unless you attack them, which is great. I mean, it's, it's a nice little ability, but I didn't really use it too much. Um, I combined my thief tree with the gladiator tree. Um, mostly for a whirlwind type of ability uh, right here you know Titan strength and you can equip two-handed melee weapons in each hand um, which is pretty great just for the pure stats on that but let's break down the big things right I'm not gonna go through each one of these little nodes but let's break down the big ones so if you want to go for a pure dagger build um, this is nice because most daggers have agility on them so it gives you that bump of you know your dagger damage is increased by agility instead of ferocity solid solid move uh, increases your attack speed depending on your total movement speed. So more movement speed you got, more attack speed you got, which is great, great, great synergy. Your dodge roll allows you to go through enemies, which is nice. Um, that's something that was kind of a pain um, when you're trying to roll or dodge out of a situation and you're basically just rolling into the enemy and they're just wailing away on your ass. Um, some of the other things, a lot of these things are critical damage, increase, dodge. That's really what this build is based around. Um, but a lot of this stuff is it's okay um, I'm not exactly too thrilled with this tree so far and but there's also a lot of things that are passives that aren't in there quite yet now this build depends a lot on your dodge roll because of this right here critical opening so there's a few things that kind of play into this as you go and you roll and you roll through enemies or you roll away from an enemy you kind of have to work this into your rotation so you're wailing away you're building up rage you roll and then you use your rage abilities and it gives you a big bump to your crit chance so you can really pump out some serious damage in a really really short uh, period of time all right so as we're going through so up here in the gladiator tree the gladiator tree is all about just pure damage and really just kind of that raw berserker type strength so you have unyielding where you can block attacks now so which is great you don't have to have a shield you can just block with your two-handed weapons and that gives you a little more survivability you have deep wounds, so all this stuff is around bleeds. So you have bleeds down here, you have bleeds over here. Um, you do have some sort of poisons as well that kind of work into it, which is nice. But this is probably the um, number one thing that I really enjoyed about this build. It's just so much just fun to play is Searing Chain. Um, you throw this thing out and it'll pull enemies towards you. And if you spec up into this, you're actually gonna pull three chains, so pull three enemies towards you, and there's almost no cooldown on this thing. It's just a GCD, which is a global cooldown, uh, for those that don't know. Uh, when you use an ability, all your abilities go on cooldown, that type of thing. So you're throwing out these hooks, and you're just pulling people into you, and you're just chewing them up in that whirlwind. Just chewing them up in that whirlwind. Um, and right here, it can go through enemies and drag uh, simultaneous targets, which is super nice. Now, I did not spec for the forward pull, just because I don't want um, to pull towards groups, I want to pull them towards me, because already if you use this on a boss, what's going to happen is it's going to pull you towards the boss, so it doesn't really matter uh, per se. Um, it's just a spec that I didn't want to go into. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at my actual character, right? So what am I rocking um, gear-wise? So I managed to get a legendary sword earlier today, yes! Mm, that's what I'm talking about. And I expected out some fire damage, um, gives me that plus 23 to agility, 30% to undead, 27 to corrupted, 6% crit chance, plus 11 physical damage. So it's a pretty well-rounded blade. Um, so daisies. And then I have this thing that dropped a little bit earlier, which is just a straight up reinforced hand forged warhammer. Um, now you want to opt for the very slow weapons if you're going for a whirlwind build because they typically do the most damage and during whirlwind right down here you have weapon damage to 114 percent um, just each tick boom 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 and that's gonna really come into play if you have a heavy hitting very slow weapon so good times there 
you could spec for daggers if that's really what you're into, um, but I wouldn't recommend the whirlwind build for that. I would recommend more for a subtlety type build. All right, so let's take a look at my actual stats. So ferocity is almost capped. We're at excellent um, with a tiny little bit right there left over. Then we have agility down here, which that's mostly for daggers, so don't really necessarily need that. Willpower is at 11 because I don't use spells. And my toughness is at 99, which gives me the uh, nice 989 health pool here. So let's go ahead and let's jump into some gameplay. All right, guys, we jumped into this randomized dungeon, you know, brand new whirlwind build, hitting people with our searing hooks. And the thing I love about the whirlwind build is it puts out so much damage. This is a really <laughs> just awesome ability right now. If you have those slow moving weapons like we talked about, those damage modifiers for your, your whirlwind are going to put out some serious damage. So I go in, I throw in laceration, a few other things right here. Um, rearrange my bars a little bit. But one thing that I really like is it creates a great, great synergy between the grappling hook and then the whirlwind. The grappling hook and then the whirlwind. And it reminds me so much of your barbarian build. Um, one thing that I ran into though is whirlwind will chew through rage so quick. You can see my rage bar just go all the way down. Now, as you use it and as you level it up, you're actually going to be getting more, you're going to be able to spec more into reducing that cost and doing more damage and things like that. So it'll get much, much easier um, as kind of you invest, I guess, into the spec itself. But this spec overall was so much fun to play, guys. Jumping in, and like I said, just the, the, the satisfaction is so much it feels so good to just be able to throw those hooks out pull people in and just whirlwind the shit out of them um i don't know and this originally when i went to this thief spec i was a little hesitant because i wasn't really kind of getting a sort of jive or a sort of synergy or combo um with it and i was really kind of struggling like ah oh, man i'm really not finding anything that works well together. And then I landed on this combo and it seems to function quite well. Throwing those things in, using your brutal strikes, hitting with your hitting with your whirlwind combos. And I was able to get uh, down to level six um, using this build just with those heavy hitting things. And I think I'll be, even get, be able to get even further as I invest more and more into this spec from a gear standpoint. Those little bastards right there running away, little goddamn, uh, crossbow folks but everybody else um, seems to just fall prey to the whirlwind now this build guys I would say is a really good build for beginners or a build if you're looking to um, just do some light light dungeon delving and you're probably not going to push too far into into uh, dungeon delve but if you spec appropriately you could surprise yourself and I think I'm going to start a kind of kitting out a full build for this and working around the weapons that I do have. One of them is a legendary, which is good, and the other one's obviously that Warhammer. And I think that's really gonna play into the actual, you know, gameplay itself and the actual build and being able to uh, get a little bit deeper into dungeons, not to mention the PvP arena that I need to jump into. I think Whirlwind would do really well there with a the Searing Hook combo and really just helping close that gap altogether. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to let this play out a little bit longer so you guys can see a little more gameplay. But as always, this has been Vulcan. Drop some comments below. Let's talk about the build. What do you guys think? What's working for you? What's not working for you? All right. This is Vulcan, and I am out of here.